Dr. Aaron Sturrock is a neurologist, and one of the main focuses of his work is in ataxia research. Aaron studied medicine at St. Bartholomew's in London and recently moved to Vancouver, British Columbia to increase his exposure to research in movement disorders. Much of Aaron's work is done at the Centre for Molecular Medicine and Therapeutics in conjunction with the University of British Columbia. Dr. Sturrock, how's it going? Hey, AJ, good to see you. So, Doc, I've been reading some of your research into ataxia. And I have to ask, what exactly is ataxia? The word ataxia comes from the Greek words meaning without order or lack of order. People with ataxia have difficulty coordinating their limb movements, movements of their arms and legs also movements of their body and, uh, and their gait, uh, that is, they, they can have difficulty coordinating their walking. People with ataxia may uh, appear clumsy as a result. It's not uncommon for people that have ataxia that begins later in life uh, to notice problems when they start developing difficulty doing tasks that they'd previously done with ease. How does someone catch ataxia? That's a good question, AJ. People don't catch ataxia uh, like they catch the cold or the flu. Um, the ataxias we're talking about are the inherited ataxias. Ataxias are caused by uh, problems in the genetic information that are passed down from an individual's mother or father, or in fact both. Uh, and these are what cause uh, people to develop the ataxias. Does, does ataxia hurt? No, uh, for most people uh, with ataxia, uh, ataxia uh, doesn't cause pain. Coordination can be affected in ataxia. Uh, people with these conditions are at greater risk of falling. Um, this can mean that they're at greater risk of injuring themselves. Will ataxia make someone less smart? I'm glad you asked that, AJ. Uh, Many people with ataxia uh, may be confronted uh, by people thinking that they are less intelligent. The ataxias uh, affect different parts of the brain. It can have an impact on fine motor control. And this may make people with ataxia appear clumsy. This doesn't mean that they are less intelligent. Should someone with ataxia stay home to protect themselves? No, that's not correct. Uh, people with ataxia may face greater challenges than, than most people, but I'm often inspired in, in the clinic just by how much people with ataxia are able to achieve. Having a diagnosis of ataxia does not automatically mean that uh, people have to give up their jobs, their hobbies or their independence. Ataxia kind of sucks. Isn't there a pill to make it go away? That's a great question, AJ. Um, one of the uh, questions I'm often asked by people with ataxia is, is, that, is there a pill or a therapy that can uh, stop ataxia? Unfortunately, we don't have a pill yet that can do this. One of the uh, key areas of ataxia research right now is trying to find therapies that may be able to slow down or stop progression of ataxia. Ataxia affects all types of people, both young and old, male and female. Some ataxias do not start becoming obvious until adulthood, while others are obvious shortly after birth. But in almost all cases, the symptoms are progressive and debilitating. It is important to note that there are many ataxias that get grouped within the term ataxia disorder. Over 40 are identified and given names, 
but there are many more that still have not been identified or recognized by science.